Ah, yeah. So as I was saying, you can see like this, this tree, how it has grown outward. So this is the same thing we want for this other tree. Yeah, so you make sure you tip the leading branch to encourage the other branches to grow. Yeah, we have this one over here. Okay, let's just have a quick... To, and guys, I, I don't know if, if you can notice how it's different from the last time we were here. You can see most of the trees, you come along. You can see how most of the trees are, have just new, fresh shoots. And guys, I don't know if you can notice how, the clo how, how this path is so close to one another. I have to let you know that before we had very good spacing, which was so so large you can see it was like from this tree to that one but now we decided to add another whole line here i remember my dad was really discouraging us from doing this because he was saying they will if we do that they'll catch up with each other pretty fast and guys i know my dad the next time he comes here he'll be like i told you so because as you can see, most of the trees are almost reaching one another. Yeah, you can check from that way. From that, that the whole of this. If you check the whole of this line, you can see even some trees are almost. Some of them are almost touching one another. Yeah, and the canopies are not even that huge. Now you can imagine when they become huge, guys. I think the last time when I told you you have not experienced any loss of flowers or fruits, I think I, how do I call, how do I say it? I jinxed, man. I jinxed and I don't think guys I'll be telling you so many good news at the same time because when I do that, things start going haywire. Hey, that's a word. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, guys, look. Look the problem we are experiencing now. We have some of our fruits. They are experiencing this. Guys, <laughs> I don't know what problem we are experiencing, but this is our guess right now. So these plants, as you can see, you, you, you can notice that they have shed. All these were the old the old leaves so that the, when we came it had shed almost all the leaves and most of them were new shoots these new shoots they do, the old shoots are the ones which we had we had sprayed boron they are the ones which had the nutrients yeah so my guess is the new the new leaves came along they did not have the nutrients to hold on the fruits all of them so that's why it shed some of them so maybe the little leaves like these ones which were left you can see how the old leaves look like they'll be falling soon you see they'll be ending soon so the little that they were left they, they were only this one it's not even bad so it was it was not able to hold all the fruits it it was it's only holding some of them so as i'm saying some of these things we're just experiencing along the way. So whatever happens, happens. Oh my God, look at this tree. It looks amazing. <laughs> What's wrong with me? It looks amazing, guys. You can see how it has new shoes. Wow. Amazing. And how wide it is. We can see our Isinia here. Let's go. Okay, this is this was a kakuzi replacement. It was two months. We planted it two months ago. As you can see, it's really thriving. Okay, one of the things if you're one of the things that I've learned, maybe if you're a new farm, a new farmer, maybe this will help you because I'm not noting this until it's too late. Maybe for me, is when you lose a tree make sure you replace it as early as possible in fact replace it immediately so that it can easily catch up with the rest because like now this one it's just two months old there are some replacement we had 
like three days ago from Isinya and now you can see the difference between the these ones how big they are and these ones so that means the nutrients requirement in this a tree it's not the same as the nutrients requirement in these other trees so that means this one might struggle because it will be hard to <laughs> to administer nutrients to eat alone than when you are administering the nutrients in bulk so as immediately you lose the tree replace it guys replace it don't wait for too long yeah Oh my god. <gasps> wow. I don't think even if I'm on the other side you can see me. Huh? Can you see me? No, you can't. Oh my god. We we did not cut the the shoots, the leading branches. No? It looks so nice. I don't even think the camera is doing these trees justice, man. The way they have grown. It's even wider than me, yeah? Oh my god. Amazing. Look even at this one just here. Man. I'm loving this. Let's go guys also since i've seen that isinya that small isinya tree there which has been left behind by its peers let me talk about this you know the previous video we had i had someone in the comment section say that the isinya we have to, to admit the isinya plant experience more damage than the kakuzi and man i don't know the experiences you get some of you guys are having out there because this this person stated that they have lost like 200 trees and honestly guys i'm not faulting you or anything but honestly if you're losing two 200 trees that's because you are you are definitely not doing the right thing so at this point did you do the soil analysis is that place you're planting the trees really are they habitable in that place are you administering the right things? Have you consulted an agronomist to know what's wrong with your land? Because if you lose 200, that's too much, guys. At this point, if you lose 200 trees, I don't believe you should be blaming the, the seller. You are the problem, okay? So, guys, sorry to say so, you are the problem. Because the problems I'm experiencing with some trees, it's not just that I'm experiencing with Isinya and the, and not with the Kakuzi. I've said that the reason I've remembered that is because I can see this tree here. This one, it's an e, this is a Kakuzi. Yeah, it's a, it was experiencing the the fungi problem here. Yeah, and you can even see these branches. Some of them about to fall off. That was the, that's the same problem with the tree you are claiming that i'm not telling you the truth they are on, only the senior have been affected some of these things you are affected by both and one of the things you should make sure you do when you're let's say when you're pruning if you prune this tree before you prune the next one make sure you sanitize your saccatuas because you don't want to take the infections from this tree to the next one then treat things as early as possible guys yeah and consult 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 guys i i always tell you i'm not knowledgeable on these things i have to google i have to work hard to get this information i have to consult more than even three agronomists at a go i'm in a whole group of farmers i'm interacting with who whom we consult each other the problem you are facing and we are able to consult each other because mostly the problem you are experiencing someone has already gone through that problem so that would be easier but if you're doing something and you think you know everything that's where you go wrong ladies and gentlemen so consult have the knowledge invest on a 
good circle of farmers whom you consult and you're honest with and they give you the information as it is you don't want to be in a group of people who are driving and they are not telling you the problem and when you say the problem you're experiencing they don't want to offer you solutions yeah we need to grow together yeah yes and then now we have these isinya like this one this is one of the isinya which one of it which has not as you can see that one and that one behind there that's how the isinyas mostly look but like this one it has taken its time i think this is mostly because when we planted this one it, it has experienced a lot of growth of how do you call the the growth of the branches which are not which are not grafted how do you, i can even see one from here come and show them like now see you can see this one see see these tiny ones this one and you can see it it is growing not only i think we should have replaced this tree you can see You can see all these and of course when it starts growing these they grow at a faster rate than the main tree oh my god ever see this side even this side you can see so you can see so this is what was making it have stunted growth but at least i can see it has started growing so let's see if the next time we come it will be having difficulties then i think that will be the right time to get rid of it and get a new tree that's what i'm going to be doing guys i can't be out here dealing with problems for the longest time and then by the end of the time of the day it's not going anywhere so let's go that is a kakuzi replacement it's doing so nice and guys yes we lost a kakuzi there so you see that's what i'm saying and it was this one was here this is the kakuzi that was there and on analyzing we found that <sighs> i'm tired <laughs> on analyzing we found that this tree did not have the root it had it didn't have an established root system also the main the top root it, it had dried up or something of this sort so it kept on just flowering not doing anything else not growing and you can see even how big it was we had even tried painting thinking it was the the it was the sun which was too much but that was not the problem so guys if you experience such a thing then you could be stunted growth it kind of just flowers no signs of growth the problem could be the root system is not well established and there is nothing you can do about this if it's not established it will die so the faster you replace it the better yeah that's it let's go oh you can see the view from here we won't be going to that side so you but you can see how we have experience oh my god this tree looks amazing and this one oh my god look at how wide this tree is. no look at this whole tree is here this one this one guys i'm like a i'm like a kid in a candy shop honestly because all i can see are the goodies and they look so nice and as you can see these trees were heavily heavily pruned you're saying no why yeah, i consider this heavily pruning because i'm guys i'm telling you if i was here when they were being pruned i closed my eyes the trees which were pruned when i was here they are not as good looking as these ones but these ones have been pruned I understand some of you have been asking for a video on how we prune trees guys bear with us we have not yet been able to do that for you but hopefully we'll do that soon but as you can see from this tree mainly what we did the pruning was about first making sure that there are no branches that are touching the ground 
Of course, that's pre to prevent the pests and diseases. Yeah, so that's what we did. That's what we focused on. And apart from that, that we also focused on tipping the upper side of the main branches because we didn't have want them going upwards. We want them to focus on going outwards. Okay, you understand that point. Now in here, no, I decided we didn't need to prune. And that's because, guys, this place, as you can see, it's very hot and opening the tree up in the name of pruning between the branches in there, it will only mean that the sun will burn the trees and then now we'll start having trees drying up. I can't have that. That's a risk. I'm not, I'm not ready to try. Guys, I'm not even ready to try that out for you because I can't be losing big trees just to experiment no i love the tree so much okay let's go oh there are some few pumpkins that are still around oh this one is so big and this one you can see this one they look so nice look at this one look at this one yeah they look amazing is that tree getting enough water that's tree. Okay, my young <laughs> so guys, you can see. I have to admit, I don't think this side looks as driving as the other side. Yeah. But what we did, guys, we realized that that side, especially, especially near the fence the trees were not really growing and that's because there were so many roots from those trees that were directly where we planted the the avocado so what we did we cut we had to dig a trench and then we cut all the roots so we should be experience the next time we come we'll see if we have any changes you can see some of the branch the brand new trees that we planted yeah they are doing so well and as you can see we here we have a support system because it's so windy right now and then let's keep going do you have something to see this side or it's just the same same thing okay what about the pineapples and the strawberry guava guys i'm telling you the strawberry guava looks amazing it has a lot and lots of fruits but anyway story for another go let's go just admire the trees look at this new growth and you know guys it's so funny when i'm telling you look at this new growth you know i don't understand where this tree and this tree and that tree i don't understand where they came from even this one we left when they were tiny and now when we came they are so big i don't know even these ones they look so big yeah you can see even these ones here and all the trees around this place have really <laughs> new shoots okay let's go guys you can see how this tree how this tree is so different from this one as i was saying the last time we were here we were balancing the button drips and some trees ended up when we left some trees were not having enough water like this one this one you can see all the other trees have new shoots but this one is still the same old same old that's because it was not having enough water but right now it is this one and that one but right now it is so we are hoping to see new results the next time we come yeah let's go oh just admire the trees look at that one it looks amazing i'm telling and guys when we came here i saw a lot and a lot of pumpkins here and you know the last time there were no pumpkins so i'm just thinking 
pumpkins really do well in hot climate when it's when it was rainy they had a lot of pests and diseases affecting them but when it's sunny and i have not even installed any drip they are just growing themselves we are getting very good pumpkins which have not even been affected by any pest or disease so that's so funny yeah but i like it so i remember someone asking for a video about the oranges this is where we are at right now the last time they were really really flowering some of the flowers of course fell but we have i don't think you can see well but we have some of the fruits here you can see these ones here you can see here we have tiny fruits maybe you cannot see them from far but maybe you can see when they get big we'll see them clearly this one ha did not have a lot of fruits but this one and the other one had a lot you can see now these ones are even a little bit bigger you can see this one here we have that one there we have that one there we have some of them here where else this one had some this side oh my god this one has you can see here 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 you can see many of them you can also see here 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 wow we have so we have you can see they look good you can see here you can see these ones these ones here here you can see that one big one there guys you might not be seeing the fruits but but they are there wow we have so many of them here this one this one this you can see them this one this one this. we have many of them here and now this one has a lot guys i don't this one has a lot of them you you can see them all this way this way this way this way this way so all round even if some of the flowers fell i still believe this one carried a lot lots and lots and lots and lots of fruits and then the fruits that were this size you can see we already have some of the bigger fruits here we are one of them has already is already ripe we should be eating it soon it's in the house look at these ones Look at these ones here. Look at these ones here. Oh my god. So this one was the hit the jackpot. You can see fruits all over. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. This one looks amazing. You did not even see the whole of it. Guys, I think by next time now because the because the the fruits are so tiny maybe the next time because they'll be a little bit bigger you'll be able to see them clearly but they look so good and since i can see some people have some interest on the oranges i should be doing a farm visit we have a friend around here maybe five minutes who was who who has a lot of oranges so maybe we can do a farm visit and you guys can get to see how oranges are doing here in bulk. Yeah, that should be nice. Ooh. Hey, this feels good to be in a shade, guys. It's so hot. <sighs> the sacrifices I make for you guys. It looks... This one has some fruits. We have the lemon here. I'm not sure if it's my lemon. But we should be finding out that soon. We have the tangerine there. We have the replacement here. We have the mango here. We we basically yeah, and do you remember this mango here which we grafted? These ones are doing so good. We have these ones, three different grafts which are doing so good. We also have this one which was grafted recently. We are just hoping to see how it will do. 
and this one as well it should be doing well and we'll graft this one soon as well yeah so that's it for this part let me just walk you through we have clementine here we have avocado doing good here we have the which type of mango is this apple mango we have the apple mango here we have the pixie there we have the pixie there and we have the laquat here we have the laquat here <laughs> this avocado here it's doing okay even if the that button has been eaten so <laughs> we need a replacement for that we have the the other um, how do you call it pomegranates they are doing just fine we have the pixie here doing okay and we have the devil's trumpet here you can see the leaves for the devil's trumpet guys we decided to plant this devil's trumpet because as we were doing research we realized that they are so good so good for the bees yeah and they are near the bees so as you can see the bees are doing really well unfortunately <laughs> unfortunately we lost a colony to the mo to the moth is it what moth yes to that thing again <sighs> that's so bad but again all the other bees are thriving they have really grown large in numbers and yeah that's it so <laughs> that's all for today maybe guys this this was the the shortest movie farm visit we have seen we have not seen the the cassava which is almost ready the sugar canes we have not seen the the strawberry guavas but guys they are doing okay but right now guys it's so hot i'm getting burnt i let's just end the video here in the meantime hoping to catch you guys next time where you can see the rest of the things thank you so much for sticking around if you got to this point click the like button consider subscribing engage us in the comment section we love seeing it <laughs> but guys don't be out there in the comments with an attitude but i still appreciate you guys and i like i like a good debate and a good face off so that's it for today and till next time bye